I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education and we're here at the University of Chicago to ask some big questions. We actually asked the big questions yesterday on an uncharacteristically beautiful and sunny day, but we forgot to film the intro, so here we are on a typical rainy day in Chicago, Illinois. Cheers. What is the best thing about U Chicago? The best thing about U Chicago, um, probably just the student body. You know, they're really accepting, and there's some really nice people here. And I've uh, I've actually reached out to a lot of uh, I've made a lot of friends who are from groups I might not have otherwise um, interacted with. The campus is pretty great, I guess. Yeah, great people. Like it is a lot of work here. Um, you know do spend a lot of time in the library, but when it comes down to it, like it really is a good community and like there's a lot of different, you know, sub communities that you can hang out with and just enjoy yourself. Like it, I feel like if you manage your time well in terms of your work, it's easy to balance your work and like your playtime kind of thing. The best thing about U Chicago for me personally is food. Harold's chicken. Harold's chicken. Yeah. Okay, best, best chicken. Best chicken on the planet. On the planet. Uh, I like the high ceilings and the social service administration building because I got to juggle and there's a lot more patterns that I can do with the juggling under a high ceiling. Whoa! Is, a, is this hammock a frequent thing or just uh, yeah. for this nice weather? When it's nice out, I come out here pretty much every day, so I'll be there. I'll be either on my hammock or on my slack line, just okay. hanging out with friends. What's the best thing about you, Chicago? <laughs> um, so, what's the worst thing about you, Chicago? Uh, I guess I'd say the quarter system. Um, again, double-edged sword. Um, it's nice in that you have you take three sets of classes a year, so you have like more opportunities to like explore different things. And you know, if you don't like a class, it's not the end of the world. You're not stuck in it for too long. Um, but at the same time, it's super, super fast-paced. Which, if you're not good at managing your time or you're a procrastinator like myself, um, you can kind of get screwed by that. Restrooms, <laughs> restrooms, and um, finals. Uh, econ. Econ. Yeah. Are you an econ major? Yes, I am. Okay. How's it going? Uh, not so well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say, like they said, the workload. Probably just the home workload, you know. It's... Yeah, it's kind of the stereotype here, you know. It's where fun comes to die, which I don't I don't totally agree with, but um, that you're, you're, you're definitely signing up for a lot of work, so... I think, I think this campus can be really, really intense sometimes, so one of the things that I had to learn coming here is how to... Um, manage my time and be balanced. The winters. winters yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a combination of like the atmosphere that's like very academic and like very like stressful in that aspect. Uh, yeah, maybe the location. Like it's just far from the city. Sure. Yeah. Like my friend got lost on the way down here. Which like that's Ruth. Yeah, but that might be like that might just be her, not not the location. And what's a typical Saturday night like at U Chicago? I'd say like first year I'd I'd go out from like Tuesday night to like Sunday, <laughs> like till it full to the yeah basically I'd go I'd go out every night but um you know that became less and less feasible as time went on. Um, pretty academic reading writing, uh, and then once in a while juggling. Uh, Saturday night it's either um, going downtown or uh, going to a party or having something at our apartment. And just like hang out in my apartment, play some music, do my nails. And like drink wine, yeah. Um, maybe in the summer, like go on a bike ride on Lakeshore, go to a bar with my friends and drink afterward. <laughs> I'm over 21. So maybe like the first couple weeks, we might like go out to a party or a club or something, or go downtown and maybe like go shopping and enjoy ourselves while there's not like a lot going on. But then like towards the end, you find yourself like in Reynolds Club at like 10 o'clock at night eating a taco from the thing, like wondering what you're doing with your life, you know? Uh, what did you write your college application essay about? So my, com my Common App essay was um, on my first Subway sandwich. Common App, uh, I wrote it about, oh, my race. That's more or less what I wrote it about. Okay. Yeah, I do not remember. Yeah. What do you write? Oh, what about your U Chicago essay? Because that's that's a different question every year, right? So I wrote it about uh, pH, like what my pH is like uh, on a pH goal. Basics, basics, yeah, yeah, basics. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. What did what is your what's your pH level? Um, pH four, acidic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh, um, I wrote mine about uh, what's so odd about odd numbers, and um, I basically it was kind of nerdy, 
um, but basically just showed off all my mathematical ways of thinking. And so I just talked about how uh, my dad's side is like very Catholic, like predominantly Catholic, but my mom's side is Jehovah's Witness. So just coming to terms with that. A uh, common app I wrote about my experience living in Panama for a month in high school. It's like a homestay program where I stayed with a Panamanian family and basically like got to hang out with them a lot and volunteer in like a school building a kindergarten classroom and like you know hanging out with the locals and stuff like that, which was a tremendous experience and kind of just like gave me a lot of perspective on life and like you know, it was not the most luxurious way of living. You know, like uh, my house had ants in the sugar and you know the shower was like half cold and half hot at the same time, which really drove me insane. Um, but you know, you get used to that kind of stuff and you end up like feeling at home just the same as you would you know in you know America or wherever else it is. Um, how in the 21st century conversation is becoming more of like a task rather than an art, I guess. Great. I think that's it. Uh, if you like this video and you want to learn more about other student experiences at schools in the States and other places, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. What's your cat's name? Beans. Beans. Uh, regards. Beans. The. Uh, he's very busy. He's. I. I get it. I get it. He's. He's on a mission.